lots of changes coming that you need to know. One good and one not so good. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and if you like what I have to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. So the big FAFSA changes that you need to be aware of that are going to happen for the 24-25 school year, affecting the FAFSA that gets released October of 2023, so next year's FAFSA, are as follows. The first change, which is a really great change, is that the FAFSA is going to be simplified and go from 108 questions down to 36, making it easier and more user-friendly for families and students to fill out. If you've ever tried to fill out a FAFSA, you know how tedious and overwhelming it can be. So this change is really going to streamline the process and make the FAFSA easier for families to fill out. Change number two is going to directly impact families who have more than one child in college, not in a positive way. So with this change, what's now known as the EFC or expected family contribution is changing to something called the SAI or student aid index. So under current federal regulations in the FAFSA, when you fill out a FAFSA and have more than one child in college, let's say for example, you have two in college, that expected family contribution that is derived from all of the information that is put on the FAFSA would be typically split in half for each child in college. With the student aid index that the EFC is changing to, families are no longer going to get that discount for multiple children in college. So that is going to hurt. While having multiple children in college will be taken into consideration with the federal methodology that is performed on the FAFSA, it's no longer going to be like that 50-50 split when you have two children in college or like that one third split when you have three children in college. So what that ultimately means is that families who have multiple children in college are not going to get the same benefit or the breaks that they do right now under the current guidelines. So if you're a family that will have multiple children in college starting with the 24-25 year, this is something you really need to plan and prepare for now. There are a lot of outside scholarships out there that every high school student and college student should be applying for consistently throughout the year that require separate applications in order to complete them. One of the best things your kiddos can be doing right now is applying for those scholarships. That's going to help them close the financial aid gap. The other thing you can do once you receive the financial aid offers is file a financial aid appeal and humbly ask the colleges for more financial aid. There are a couple different ways to do that. One is through something called special circumstances. If your family has a unique situation that's not accurately reflected on the FAFSA form. And the other is really just a well-written letter, including some specific key points and asking the college to award some additional aid because it's out of reach financially for your family. These are both services that I provide through individual consultations and also some different programs that I offer. My signature program is specifically for parents of high school seniors and it runs every year from September 1st through May 30th. In this program, I guide families step-by-step -step through the overwhelming and confusing financial aid process and help them maximize their financial aid offers and ensure that they're getting all the aid they're entitled to, along with uploading regular scholarship resources each month. I also go through the financial aid appeal process very in depth and help families write that letter, along with a number of other things to help you navigate the financial aid process. So if you happen to be the parent of a rising high school senior or a current high school senior, be sure to go to my website, thefafsaguru.com and check out the FAFSA and Financial Aid Academy. I typically keep enrollment open on this program through December because a lot of families find me in the fall when they begin searching for financial aid and FAFSA assistance. So again, the two big changes coming to the 24-25 FAFSA are the fact that it's going to be simplified and reduced from 108 questions down to 36, and then what's now known as the EFC or expected family contribution is going to change to the SAI or the student aid index. So families who have multiple children in college are no longer going to get the same breaks that they do now. I hope you found this information helpful. And also I offer a free initial 10 minute consult call for anyone who has general financial aid questions or just wants to learn more about the programs and services that I provide. You can also schedule that right through my website. Thanks again.